I can't see a damn thing. So this is it, Mars, Mars 13th. I know, this is not a 72 Gibson Custom. It's a 19, it's a 2006 Epiphone. <laughs> but you know what, who cares? That's what they had in the movie. Actually, they had an Epiphone Custom. It does not matter. I find the guitars that play good and they, I make them my whatever guitar, my Randy. I have an Epiphone uh, Les Paul Custom that is better than Randy's. I played Randy's. He loved it. He played it all the time. That's why he loved it. This one has a small neck because it's, it's the Japanese late 70s Epiphone. So when people hound me and, and bash me for shit, drives me nuts. Do your homework. I don't do mine that much. This is all from stuff when I was into music. I am barely in music. I'm on the... I don't know. I need a drummer, man. ACDC. I won't ask you guys because you don't know when I'm playing anything. What's that song? Alright, to me, just so everybody knows, when I'm talking Motley Crue, I'm talking Too Fat for Love and Shout with the Devil, which are the appropriate names and which they were going to be called. And I'll Shout with the Devil, definitely. The too Fast for Love. Too Fast, Too Fat for Love. Listen to the chorus. We would all sing it. Too Fast. Too fat for love. And how do I know? Because I was there at every damn show and blah, 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 blah. And I asked Mick, are you saying fat? And he goes, yeah, we say fat the second time. But, and then Nikki goes, but we like all girls. And he is. He would, he would, he would, huh. Nikki would take whatever because. Nikki is so unlike what he's trying to portray himself as like in the movie not at all like you see me all angry and me 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 first time i met him nice talked to me went down and got free beer no no not free two dollars for a six pack of uh, miller <laughs> when i was 15 16 and <laughs> Uh, 
Um, anyways, what was I saying, Nikki? So he was always nice, just talked about Kiss, Kiss a lot, because me and him like Kiss, me and Mick like Alice, Mick and I, Mickey and I, <laughs> whatever. I'm watching too much Judge Judy, uh, because I, it drives me nuts when people don't talk correctly or speak correctly, but I do it all the time, and I'm like, like, like. Like, 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 you know, say like too much. And then I watch my videos, and like, I say like all the time. Because I'm like a valley girl, like, get it? Like, oh my god. Okay. Watching this guy, I'm getting ready. You know, I'm watching some videos. This Satsumu, Satsumu, Satsuma, whatever. It's a guy, a Japanese dude. He's got all these friggin' really cherried out guitars. He's got a polka dot V. He's got the ugly Eddie Van Halen 5150 with the banana. You guys have it. I don't even want that one. That's the ugliest guitar, and that's the beginning of Vag Halen. Yes, Vagina Halen. So. I don't dig that guitar, but uh, he's got it, and he plays great, but he plays wrong. He's playing all the chords like, okay, you know, I cheat, so like, this is F. That's not playing A and C. That's not playing it right. I'm not doing this. But that's the right one. Nicky isn't the what he's he's trying to make himself out to be. The way he is now, that nerdy 60-year-old, oh my gosh, that's the grandfather, almost getting to be a grandfather. Raised by Mormon grandparents in Idaho. He was a potato wheat nerd that left home at 18 because he wanted to go down to Hollywood and, and check it out. He went over to Seattle like everybody does. They either go to Seattle and down... Or they go, depending on where he lives, straight down the 15, down the Mormon corridor, to L.A. What I'm trying to say is, the real Nikki is still fictional, even now. And D. Snyder brought up a good point, but it's it's weak. That, how could you keep diaries during a, your heroin abuse, but I did it when I was in the depths of of my alcohol addiction. I kept a diary. When I'd hit rock bottom, rock bottom, I was, it was barely legible, but I kept a diary. I had to get it out somehow, and the meetings don't work for me. They never did. 21 years sober, meetings don't work for me, though. And then, however many years sober from the opiates. The opiates, though, doctors got me hooked. My doctor called it candy. He's giving me 110 every 10 days, and then I got up to taking 80, whatever I could get my hands on, morphine, uh, lor you know, Lortab, Narco, anything that was an opiate. Oh, fentanyl, I had fentanyl. You name it, I would take it. I just, just to not feel sick, and then I would take the you know, 10 milligram ones to get me through the day working, no one ever suspected, they, no one suspected. When I wanted to get off it, I got off it. I didn't need to because I was going to die. I was just sick of spending five, six thousand dollars a month. And Nikki said he had a ten thousand dollar a week heroin habit. You can get a twenty dollar bag or a five dollar bag that'll get you five, 
So he, just say he buys twenty dollars, and in the eighties you could get heroin for nothing. It wasn't that big. It started to get big, but it wasn't that big, and it was coming straight from South America. But whatever, let him tell his stories, like I do. <laughs> Later. I gotta get a new battery. And here is my. All right. Yes. Subscribe and comment and comment and subscribe and then after you subscribe and comment and then when you comment subscribe. Do something. Don't just sit there and watch me. Okay. So one more time so everybody sees. B and C. Mom. My mom's here. There blows everything. There goes everything. Oh, really? He's a rocker? Yeah. Yes, rocker has. They, everybody has a mom. You have a mom, I'm sure. Okay. See you later. Bye. Subscribe. She's telling you. Tell her. Subscribe. Say it. It. Subscribe. Subscribe. If you don't do it now, you're not listening to my mom, you jerks.